In the introduction of Getting Things Done by David Allen, we are introduced to the concept of stress-free productivity and the need for a systematic approach to managing tasks and commitments. Allen acknowledges the overwhelming nature of our modern lives, where information bombards us from all directions, leaving us feeling constantly overwhelmed and disorganized. He emphasizes that the key to overcoming this overwhelm is not in working harder or managing time better, but rather in managing our attention and focus. Allen introduces his groundbreaking methodology, known as the GTD system, which stands for getting things done. He explains that the GTD system provides a comprehensive framework for capturing, clarifying, organizing, and executing tasks and commitments in a way that reduces stress and enhances productivity. The goal of the system is to free up mental energy and create a clear mind, enabling us to be fully present and focused on the task at hand. Throughout the introduction, Allen highlights the key principles and benefits of the GTD system, emphasizing the importance of capturing all our commitments, clarifying their meaning and desired outcomes, organizing them in a trusted system, and regularly reviewing and engaging with them. He emphasizes that by implementing the GTD system, we can achieve a state of mind like water, where our minds are clear, calm, and ready to handle any task or challenge that comes our way. As we delve deeper into the book, we can expect to learn practical strategies and techniques for implementing the GTD system in our daily lives. Alan promises to guide us through the process of transforming our overwhelmed minds into focused and productive ones, ultimately helping us achieve a greater sense of control, clarity, and accomplishment. So, if you're tired of feeling buried under a mountain of unfinished tasks and seeking a practical solution to regain control of your life, Getting Things Done is a book you won't want to miss. It's time to embark on a journey towards stress-free productivity and unlock your full potential. Part 1. The Art of Getting Things Done Chapter 1. A New Practice for a New Reality In the opening chapter, we are introduced to a new way of managing our tasks and responsibilities in the modern world. Allen highlights the challenges we face in an increasingly fast-paced and information-driven society and emphasizes the need for a practical approach to deal with these demands. Allen introduces the concept of mind like water, a state of clarity and focus that allows us to respond effectively to any situation. He emphasizes the importance of capturing all our commitments and thoughts into an external system to free up mental space and reduce stress. By implementing a trusted system to capture, clarify, organize, and review our tasks, we can achieve a higher level of productivity and peace of mind. Allen provides a glimpse into the transformative power of his methodology and sets the stage for the chapters to come. Chapter 2 Getting Control of Your Life The Five Stages of Mastering Workflow In Chapter 2, Allen presents a comprehensive framework for mastering our workflow and gaining control over our lives. He outlines the five stages involved in effectively managing our tasks and commitments. The first stage is collecting, where we gather all our open loops, ideas, and commitments into a central inbox. Allen emphasizes the importance of capturing everything, no matter how small or insignificant it may seem. The second stage is processing, where we go through each item in our inbox and decide on the next action required. Allen introduces the concept of the two-minute rule, which suggests that if an action takes less than two minutes, we should do it immediately. The third stage is organizing, where we categorize and sort our tasks into appropriate lists and categories. Allen introduces the concept of contexts, which help us identify the right actions to take based on the resources, tools, and environment available. The fourth stage is reviewing where we regularly evaluate and update our system to ensure its effectiveness. Allen emphasizes the importance of consistent review to stay on top of our commitments and maintain clarity. Finally, the fifth stage is doing, where we make informed and intentional choices about the actions we take. Allen emphasizes the need to align our actions with our goals and priorities to maximize productivity and fulfillment. Chapter 3 Getting Projects Creatively Underway The Five Phases of Project Planning in Chapter 3, Allen dives into the process of effectively planning and executing projects. He introduces the five phases of project planning, providing a structured approach to tackle projects of any size or complexity. The first phase is defining purpose and principles, where we clarify the desired outcome and establish the guiding principles for the project. Allen highlights the importance of understanding the purpose and desired outcome to maintain focus and motivation. The second phase is outcome visioning where we create a clear mental picture of what the successful completion of the project looks like. Allen suggests engaging our imagination to visualize the desired outcome, which helps us set clear goals and make better decisions. The third phase is brainstorming, where we generate a comprehensive list of all the potential actions and steps required to complete the project. Allen encourages us to think expansively and capture all ideas, regardless of their feasibility at this stage. 
The fourth phase is organizing, where we categorize, prioritize, and sequence the actions identified during the brainstorming phase. Allen introduces the concept of mind mapping as a visual tool to structure and organize our ideas. The fifth and final phase is identifying next actions, where we determine the specific actions we need to take to move the project forward. Allen emphasizes the importance of breaking down the project into actionable steps to avoid overwhelm and promote progress. By following these five phases of project planning, we can approach projects with clarity, focus, and confidence, increasing our chances of success. Part 2. Practicing Stress-Free Productivity Chapter 4. Getting Started, Setting Up the Time, Space, and Tools In Chapter 4, Alan guides us through the essential steps of setting up our physical and digital environments for optimal productivity. He emphasizes the importance of having a well-organized workspace and appropriate tools to support our workflow. Alan suggests creating a dedicated workspace that is comfortable, clutter-free, and conducive to focus. He highlights the significance of having easy access to necessary supplies and resources, reducing the friction associated with completing tasks. Additionally, Alan stresses the importance of establishing a consistent system for managing our time. He introduces the concept of a calendar as a tool for capturing time-specific commitments, appointments, and deadlines. Furthermore, Alan advises on selecting appropriate tools and technology to support our workflow. He discusses the benefits of digital tools such as task management apps, note-taking applications, and reference systems, while also acknowledging the value of pen and paper for certain tasks. By setting up an efficient and personalized environment, we can eliminate distractions, streamline our workflow, and enhance our productivity. Chapter 5. Collection, Corralling Your Stuff Chapter 5 focuses on the critical aspect of collecting and organizing all the information and stuff that comes our way. David Allen emphasizes the importance of capturing and processing incoming items to maintain a clear mind and prevent overwhelm. Allen introduces the concept of the collection habit, which involves consistently gathering all the loose ends, ideas, and commitments into a reliable system. He highlights the value of having a designated collection tool, such as an inbox, where we can quickly capture incoming items. Furthermore, Allen discusses various sources of incoming information, including physical papers, email, voicemail, and digital documents. He provides practical tips on how to efficiently process and categorize these items, ensuring that nothing slips through the cracks. By developing the habit of regular collection and implementing a systematic approach to corral our stuff, we can ensure that nothing gets lost and everything receives the appropriate attention it deserves. Chapter 6. Processing, Getting into Empty in Chapter 6, Alan delves into the vital process of processing the items we've collected and getting our inboxes to empty. He emphasizes the need to make clear decisions and take appropriate actions on each item to maintain an organized and productive workflow. Alan introduces the principle of deciding what the next action is for each item in our collection. He guides us through a series of questions to determine the specific action required, such as whether an item needs to be delegated, filed for reference, or acted upon by ourselves. Furthermore, Alan emphasizes the importance of taking immediate action whenever possible, particularly for items that require two minutes or less to complete. He highlights the efficiency and psychological benefits of promptly resolving tasks instead of continually reviewing and revisiting them. By implementing a systematic and decisive approach to processing our inboxes, we can achieve the state of emptying and experience a sense of control, clarity, and progress in our daily tasks and responsibilities. Chapter 7. Organizing, Setting Up the Right Buckets Chapter 7 focuses on the critical aspect of organizing our tasks and commitments into appropriate categories and containers. David Allen emphasizes the importance of establishing a reliable system that reflects our individual preferences and supports our workflow. Allen introduces the concept of buckets, which are the different lists, folders, or categories where we store and organize our tasks and information. He highlights the value of having clear and meaningful labels for these buckets to enhance our understanding and decision-making process. Furthermore, Allen suggests using different types of buckets based on the nature of our tasks and the context in which we perform them. He introduces the concept of context-based organizing, where tasks are grouped according to the location, tools, or resources required to complete them efficiently. Additionally, Allen discusses the importance of maintaining a trusted reference system for storing information, such as project support materials, reference articles, or helpful resources. He provides practical tips on how to structure and organize these reference materials for easy retrieval. By setting up the right buckets and establishing an effective organizational system, we can navigate our tasks and commitments with ease, locate information quickly, and make informed decisions about our next actions.
Chapter 8. Reviewing, Keeping Your System Functional In Chapter 8, Alan emphasizes the importance of regular reviewing to maintain the functionality and effectiveness of our productivity system. He introduces the concept of horizontal and vertical reviews, which encompass different levels of assessment. The horizontal review involves a comprehensive review of all our commitments, projects, and tasks. Allen suggests conducting this review at regular intervals to ensure that our system remains up to date and aligned with our current priorities and goals. The vertical review, on the other hand, focuses on specific areas or categories within our system. Allen recommends conducting vertical reviews for projects, areas of responsibility, or even individual tasks to ensure progress and maintain clarity. Furthermore, Allen provides practical tips on how to conduct effective reviews, such as allocating dedicated time, utilizing checklists, and leveraging technology tools to facilitate the process by incorporating regular reviews into our workflow. We can identify any gaps, make necessary adjustments, and stay on top of our commitments, leading to increased productivity and peace of mind. Chapter 9. Doing, Making the Best Action Choices Chapter 9 focuses on the crucial step of making the best action choices in our daily tasks and responsibilities. David Allen highlights the significance of aligning our actions with our goals and priorities to maximize productivity and fulfillment. Allen introduces the concept of the four-criteria model to help us evaluate and prioritize our tasks. He suggests considering factors such as context, time available, energy level, and priority when deciding on the next action to take. Furthermore, Allen discusses the importance of making conscious choices about what we commit to and what we decline. He emphasizes the need to say no to tasks that don't align with our goals or don't provide significant value, allowing us to focus on what truly matters. Allen also provides insights into managing interruptions and handling unexpected events that disrupt our planned actions. He offers strategies to deal with these situations effectively while minimizing stress and maintaining control. By making thoughtful and intentional action choices, we can ensure that our efforts are directed towards meaningful tasks, ultimately leading to greater productivity and a sense of achievement. Chapter 10, Getting Projects Under Control In Chapter 10, Allen dives deeper into the process of effectively managing projects. He provides practical strategies and insights to help us gain control over our projects, ensuring progress and successful completion. Allen highlights the importance of breaking down projects into smaller, actionable steps by identifying the next actions required for each project. We can maintain momentum and avoid feeling overwhelmed by the project's overall scope. He also emphasizes the significance of regularly reviewing project status and making necessary adjustments. Allen suggests conducting project-specific reviews to assess progress, update timelines, and ensure that the project remains on track. Furthermore, Allen addresses the challenges associated with multi-project environments. He introduces the concept of a project list to track and manage all active projects, ensuring that we have a comprehensive view of our commitments and can make informed decisions about resource allocation. By implementing effective project management practices, we can minimize the risk of projects slipping through the cracks, enhance collaboration and communication, and achieve successful outcomes. Part 3. The Power of the Key Principles Chapter 11. The Power of the Collection Habit Chapter 11 explores the power and benefits of cultivating the collection habit in our daily lives. David Allen emphasizes that consistent and thorough collection of our thoughts, ideas, and commitments is key to maintaining a clear and organized mind. Allen highlights the value of having a designated capture tool or system that is readily accessible. By capturing everything that comes to mind or crosses our path, we can prevent important details from slipping away and reduce the mental burden of trying to remember everything. Furthermore, Allen discusses the psychological benefits of the collection habit. He explains how capturing our thoughts and commitments allows us to let go of them temporarily, knowing that they are safely stored in our system. This sense of trust and relief enables us to focus on the present moment and engage fully in the tasks at hand. Allen also addresses potential challenges and resistance to the collection habit. He offers practical tips and strategies to overcome barriers and develop a consistent routine for capturing and processing our collected items. By embracing the power of the collection habit, we can experience greater mental clarity, reduce stress, and ensure that no important ideas or commitments slip through the cracks. Before we continue, we would like to inform you that we release these summaries in audio format on Spotify before we release them on YouTube in video format with subtitles. Thank you for the support and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Chapter 12. The Power of the Next Action Decision 
Chapter 12 delves into the power of making clear and decisive next action decisions. David Allen emphasizes that identifying the specific next physical or mental action required for each task is essential for moving forward and achieving results. Allen explains that vague or incomplete next action decisions can lead to procrastination, indecision, and a lack of progress. By clarifying the immediate action needed for each task, we can eliminate ambiguity and create a clear path for execution. Furthermore, Allen introduces the concept of context-based next action decisions. He suggests considering factors such as location, availability of resources, and energy level when determining the most appropriate action to take in a given context. This context-based approach helps us optimize our productivity by focusing on tasks that align with our current situation and resources. Allen also highlights the importance of integrating next action decisions into our daily workflow. By regularly reviewing and updating our task lists, we can ensure that we always have a clear understanding of what needs to be done next, enabling us to work efficiently and effectively. By harnessing the power of making specific and actionable next action decisions, we can overcome inertia, maintain momentum, and make steady progress toward our goals. Chapter 13 The Power of Outcome Focusing Chapter 13 explores the power of outcome focusing as a means to enhance productivity and align our actions with our desired results. David Allen emphasizes the importance of clarifying and visualizing the desired outcomes to guide our decision-making and action-taking process. Allen explains that having a clear outcome in mind enables us to make informed choices about the actions we take. By visualizing the end result and understanding the purpose behind our tasks, we can prioritize effectively and avoid getting caught up in unimportant or low-value activities. Furthermore, Allen discusses the concept of outcome thinking which involves considering the intended result before initiating any action. By consciously aligning our actions with the desired outcomes, we can make intentional decisions and ensure that our efforts are directed towards meaningful and impactful tasks. Allen also highlights the role of outcome focusing in reducing stress and increasing motivation. When we have a clear vision of the outcomes we aim to achieve, we can tap into our intrinsic motivation and experience a sense of purpose and fulfillment in our work. By harnessing the power of outcome focusing, we can align our actions with our goals, make informed decisions, and experience a greater sense of satisfaction and achievement in our daily endeavors. Conclusion In the conclusion of Getting Things Done, David Allen summarizes the key principles and strategies presented throughout the book. He emphasizes that implementing a comprehensive and personalized productivity system is crucial for effectively managing our tasks, projects, and commitments. Allen reiterates the importance of capturing all our thoughts and commitments into an external system to free up mental space and reduce stress. He encourages regular reviews to ensure the system remains up to date and aligned with our current priorities. Furthermore, Allen highlights the significance of making clear next action decisions, focusing on desired outcomes, and aligning our actions with our goals. By integrating these principles into our daily lives, we can experience increased productivity, reduced overwhelm, and a greater sense of control and fulfillment. In the conclusion, Allen also acknowledges that implementing the methodologies and practices described in the book requires commitment, discipline, and ongoing adjustment. He encourages readers to embrace the journey and adapt the strategies to their individual needs and preferences. Overall, Getting Things Done provides a comprehensive framework for managing our workflow, enhancing productivity, and achieving a state of control, clarity, and focus in our personal and professional lives.